Hello world this is Anonymous TV. This time last week we brought out our take of the election or to say puppet show. But being it be a puppet show some are taking this election very seriously here's a look into a militant group that supports Trump. Down a Georgie country road, camouflaged members of the 3% security force have mobilized for rifle practice, hand-to-hand -hand combat training and an impromptu campaign rally for Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump. How many people are voting for Trump? Hoorah! asks Chris Hill, a parallel who goes by the code name Blood Agent. Hoorah! shout a dozen militia members in response, as morning sunlight sifted through the trees last weekend. As the most divisive presidential election in recent memory nears its conclusion, some armed militia groups are preparing for the possibility of a stolen election on November 8 and civil unrest in the days following a victory by Democrat Hillary Clinton. They say they won't fire the first shot, but they're not planning to leave their guns at home, either. Trump's populist campaign has energized militia members like Hill who admire the Republican mogul's promise to deport illegal immigrants, stop Muslims from entering the country and build a wall along the Mexico border. Trump has repeatedly warned that the election may be rigged, and has said he may not respect the results if he does not win. At least one paramilitary group, the Oath Keepers, has called on members to monitor voting sites for signs of fraud. Armed paramilitary groups first gained prominence in the early 1990s, fueled by confrontations in Ruby Ridge, Idaho, and Waco, Texas, culminating in a militia sympathizer's 1995 bombing of a federal office building in Oklahoma City that killed 168 people. Their numbers dwindled following that attack but have spiked in recent years, driven by fears that President Barack Obama will threaten gun ownership and erode the power of local government. The Southern Poverty Law Center, which tracks extremist groups, estimates there were 276 active militias last year, up from 42 in 2008. In recent years, armed groups have confronted federal authorities in a series of land-use disputes in the western United States. Federal officials fear more clashes could come after seven militants were acquitted on conspiracy charges for occupying a federal wildlife refuge in Oregon. Advertisement Many fear Clinton would push the county further to the left. This is the last chance to save America from ruin, Hill said. I'm surprised I was able to survive or suffer through eight years of Obama without literally going insane, but Hillary is going to be more of the same. Extremist groups emboldened. The Oath Keepers, a prominent anti-government force that sent gun-toting members to the 2014 race riots in Ferguson, Missouri, called on members last week to monitor voting sites on election day for any signs of fraud. An hour south of Atlanta, the 3% security force started the day around the campfire, taking turns shooting automatic pistols and rifles at a makeshift target range. They whooped with approval when blasts from one member's high-powered rifle knocked down a tree. The group operates independently, but is affiliated with a national armed movement that calls for members to defend individual rights in the face of what they see as an overreaching federal government. The movement draws its name from the notion that no more than 3% of the American population fought in the Revolutionary War against Britain. Amid the war games, Hill weighed plans for a possible armed march on Washington if Clinton wins. He said he doesn't want his members leading the way, but they will defend the protesters if need be. His group will not hesitate to act if a President Clinton tries to disarm gun owners, he said. I will be there to render assistance to my fellow countrymen, and prevent them from being disarmed, and I will fight and I will kill and I may die in the process," said Hill, who founded the militia several years ago. Trump's candidacy has emboldened extremist groups to speak more openly about challenging the rule of law, said Ryan Lenz, a researcher at the Southern Poverty Law Center. Prior to this campaign season, these ideas were relegated to sort of the political fringe of the American political landscape, he said. Now these ideas are legitimized.
Over the past week, some prominent Trump supporters have hinted at violence. If Trump loses, I'm grabbing my musket, former Illinois Representative Joe Walsh wrote on Twitter last week. Conservative commentator Wayne Root fantasized about Clinton's death while speaking at a Trump rally in Las Vegas on Sunday. Back in Georgia, the 3% security force wrapped up rifle practice in the midday sun. They then headed further into the trees to tackle an obstacle course with loaded pistols at their sides, ready for whatever may come. We've building up for this, just like the Marines, he said. We are going to really train harder and try to increase our operational capabilities in the event that this is the day that we hoped would never come. This was told to Anonymous via our web troopers. Citizens of this planet team Anonymous TV cares not in which way the election goes we take it as it all being rigged the whole presidency. What we want you to take seriously is each other and each other's views. Remember this election was designed to keep us divided and when you're going to vote remember those important matters. Stop the Dakota Access Pipeline. Vote yes for decriminalization of marijuana. Sincerely yours the sanitation man. We are anonymous. We are legion. We are your neighbors. We are the mailman. We are the truth that's hiding in the dark. We are the last stand for humanity. But we are no one and together we are. Anonymous. Expect us. With Hillary, but they're not going to get a chance to take her on. Election day is about a couple days away. Many think that Donald Trump is going to be the savior of the US and make it great again. However, he has been a card-carrying member of the global power elite for quite some time now, and not a single member of the Republican Party can't really help but secretly play along with the mainstream media's fluff. The other one is Hillary Clinton, and her emails are only the start of her corruption. And her husband Bill's corruption goes back years decades even. It has also come to our attention that Trump and the Clintons are close friends and have been for some time now, Trump even donated 100,000 to the Clinton Foundation in 2009. But some people are buying the media's hype and the two candidates' poor acting skills thinking that the hate for one another is real. And some anonymous channels on YouTube have shown support for certain candidates when anonymous takes no side in politics for this would cause division in anonymous. So any anonymous channel that favors one or the other is not a true anon and more likely a paid shill by one of the candidates, this is not hard to tell, because most of the videos that are put out by the channel is just about the election with a video here and there taken from actual anons to keep from raising any suspicion. Anyone with any common sense can see that the two candidates are playing to a script. But anyone that has watched wrestling knows that the show that Trump and Clinton are putting on is nothing more than to make the public feel as if they have a choice in the election. When it is the same ones that have been in power for decades. We as the people must stop letting them control the population by cutting off the TVs and get them to think on their own, if you want to teach people a new way of thinking, don't bother trying to teach them. Instead, give them a tool the use of which will lead to new ways of thinking, you can give a person knowledge, but you can't make them think, some people want to remain fools, only because the truth requires change. But to those that are afraid of change, know this change is coming and cannot be stopped. Whether the world changes for the good or keeps the path it has been on is up to the entire world and its actions. Evil is made up of fear that is fed by all of us every day and good is a reflection of the love we give to one another, and the scales have started to tip. If we all make an effort to do good and stop fearing the things that media fills our heads with on a daily basis, we might avoid the coming fight that the ones in power have been planning. So wake up take action and love, and as for Clinton and Trump they are one in the same and before elections are over Anonymous will show the world the truth. We are Anonymous, we are Legion, we do not forgive, we do not forget, expect us. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect, expect us. us. Sincerely yours. The sanitation man. Expect us. Special shout outs in Ohio. Inspector. Operation Second. And the Anonymous Collective. And I have to start again.
Thank my love.